So, which of these four? I like Miri, Wonderwaddle and Geppetto. All of them are quite good in their own way. I think Wonderwaddle is the most flexible, which is pretty obvious. Hmm. Miri or Geppetto? Which one of them? I actually feel more like... Hmm. I'll take Miri today. I haven't done Royals in a while. Let us roll the dice. Not bad. In terms of base stats, it's the best here. Hmm. We should be... Okay against Merlin. Depends on whether or not he got a spell he can cast and still have a character. <laughs> Since there's no Midas, we don't have the inborn competition of our Royals. That's good. Hmm. There's Apocalypse. There's... Uh, or dragon and a character that you don't usually see we have Morgan the Fae I suppose we'll try it oh no oh. I knew this was an option but I didn't feel it was there uh, warranted to buy first in case of shrink ray or but now it's a bit disappointing hmm let's take the fanny Maybe we can get a dwarf if we can't get royals, which is really what I was looking for. One cost free roll. Ironic. Just how strong are you, Apocalypse? Hmm, okay, way too strong. No, the royal is obviously coming. I could take dwarves, but... I don't think it's... a good idea when really we want to go royals from the very first. Given the option. Gwen, hmm, undefeated so far, along with Morgan and uh, Apocalypse. I expect something decent. That's very interesting, she didn't use knighthood and instead found three of these blind mice. That's impressive, in terms of luck. <laughs> Um, it's got a bit less stats, but on the other hand, it's quite helpful. And really, as a dwarf, it works well with Fanny. Hmm, the dragon. I'd much rather hit the dragon as hard as possible if I could help it. Still, haven't we seen quite few royals? Only two of them up to level 3. Definitely not a good start but since we are kind of stable and we did see two very nice royals i suppose i could call it a mediocre not terrible start hmm. it's just so little potential for the future That was the worst possible result. He got to go first and he hit my ranged. Really. I would have probably won this if he hit anything else. And definitely won this if I hit the stag first. Oh, it's a royal and it costs one, so don't mind if I do. Stag is very nice. Uh, question is, is it nice enough? Probably not. We do want to... Oh, that's nice. No, that's very nice. No, I'm quite happy to take Blind Mouse as well while we're at it. Hmm. 
Then again, uh, if I want to get Brave Princess one turn early, I'd have to sell three for her. Which means selling this mouse. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Next round we'll take the Brave Princess and we'll take the mouse. Because second mouse already, there's a potential for Sky Castle there. So we've seen a few royals here. Not many, but a few. I really need to get a move on with Cinderella though. She's the only guaranteed royal that I have. Hmm. Somebody else has been taking the royals. A donkey. So annoying. On the bright side I got a bonus character, on the flip side of that we lost. Wait, um, here. Allows me to make one gold even. Not to mention casting a spell, for its own sake. Hmm. No. I prefer not to have so many two and less health guys on the front. You can just get demolished by earthquake, but uh, there's not much helping it. I just don't have characters with more health than this. Hmm. We do have two duos now of uh, royals, so one blind mouse could completely. Uh, transform our board, incidentally, but even if he doesn't come, a triple is quite possible, at least from this point on. Hmm, Frog is really useful early on, haven't seen one, and by 4 you'd really like to see a Romeo, in case of Juliet at 4. At least she died. And now I also gain... Uh... Why is it everybody else is also playing the same characters as me? The blind mice, the royals, true shot, uh, Cinderella, etc. Ah, I win no matter what now. Good. You guys who are hogging my royals, go and die. That's two hungry heapers, but it's way too expensive just for an artifact. I mean, the support is really nice right now. But I'm gonna skip it. Ah, good. Rewarded. Ah, uh, runestone's not bad. I suppose. Hmm. Next round we will complete the quest for Cinderella, giving us another little bonus. And we'll see from there. It's not bad to have runestones of Cinderella for 3 or with Brave Princess for 4, but it seems it's gonna be Cinderella, honestly. I definitely do not want a 5 with Blind Mouse. Hmm. Actually, consider. Putting Trusha down, perhaps. Don't hit the 9. Excellent. I still lost these arranged, but... It's okay, we're in a certain state of flux. Not really strong yet, but... Oh. Um, what can I even sell? What can I possibly sell? Only Mad Meme, right? No, no, I can sell her if I cast this spell. Which I will. Oh, that's very nice. Merlin's hat over Crystal Ball? I'm not sure. 
Crystal Ball allows you to cast multiple spells a turn and this is definitely exceedingly useful. Hmm. No, not inside for the advantage. Now I can sell Cinderella. Buy one of these guys. I am very tempted for the Nutcracker here. But then what can I give up? Hmm. I have to take Juliet. It's not negotiable. Let's take the Nutcracker this turn and lock. It's a bit of a loss in gold, but hopefully it's going to be fine. Main idea is Brave Princess should hopefully complete her quest and uh, can be sold next turn for Juliet. And we'll go from there. If I can allow myself to sell her, I can also sell Mim. Quest complete. That's good. Sheep for 5-5. Five, five. I mean... That's plus 2 plus 2. Oh, and that's another 2-2. Two, two. Interesting. Sheep for 5-5. Five, five. That's quite impressive. Um, treasure map, I guess. Level 6 is really good. I am selling uh, Brave Princess, buying this thing, selling it as well. And let's move on from now. Oh. Excellent. Um, let me see. That's not going to be very useful. This is, though. This is going to be exceedingly useful. Uh, there's no way I make Sleeping Princess work. It's just not going to happen. I don't need another sure shot. Yeah, things are fine as they are right now. Plus 6 health on the front is okay, but plus 6 attack on the back, that's truly amazing for Court Wizard. Hmm, might even do that. But then I don't want Mim here. Hmm. Something like that. Even the health on the front is really useful for Nutcracker. Hey, how come you have level 6 already? Oh, that's just not sporting. I mean, really. Hatball. Level 6 characters. This apocalypse is insane. He lost this round, but uh, that's not uh, saying much for the future. Don't mind if I do. And there we have him. Romeo is here. Okay, that's something that I can sell. Uh, noble Steed, I guess. That's level 5. I'm not sure I want it. On the one hand, on the other hand, it could instead be very, very good if we can get our hands on Hercules in uh, level 7. Okay, I'll do that. We'll just skip this one. Sell Frog Prince and then buy something else. We have so much to buy here. It makes a lot of sense to me, actually. Which of them am I buying? Um, Arthur? I suppose. I really want to sell Nutcracker next round. And I also want to put this one in for some reason. Instead of this, it's so much weaker. I'll still do it, it's 4 4. So it's 14 uh, 25 in terms of stats. It's not as good as 19 24, but the difference in 5 attack is manageable considering the, the gains. That's okay. Oh, it kills the princess, but it also completes the quest. Hmm. It wouldn't have mattered. The thing would have lived with one health. And it's a tie. Ties are perfectly fine for us.
Sky Castle, thank you. Now that's just useful. I'm going to skip this one. Nothing that amazing. Um, what else can I do? I can uh, sell blind mice now if I want them. Gone. Oh, that's possibly the best they could have done right now. Now, this is really interesting. Red Applicator instead of uh, Sword of Fire and Ice. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. I mean, it scales so much better into the late game. Quite big, but no. Um, what am I looking for the most? Oh, there's a mouse. I'll take it. It's so cheap. The most I'm looking for Romeo and Juliet. Once I've gotten both of those, then I think the artifact uh, Sky Castle has mostly served its purpose. Although I could always buy cheap things like the frog, let's say, to try and uh, get more. But it's not that important. Actually, thinking about it, I could use it to try and get more level 3 Prince Princesses like Ogre Princess and Romeo, assuming I actually find even a double of him. Uh, because if I can get my hands on Crystal Ball, then my advantage will be huge. It's such a game changer with uh, Good Boy. That's not too bad. It hold Dragon quite hard. Hmm. Let's skip. Should I buy her? Nah. That would be silly. That's also silly. I suppose. Hmm. I mean, that's very expensive for just one Juliet. No, we won't. What we are looking for, obviously, is well, Juliet, so that uh, King Arthur can get really get to work. But uh, good boy, Hercules. These two are. Really, really good for us. We can replace quite a few of what we have. I mean... If we can find a good boy, I'd put in another wizard. That would be two of the... Top here. And... Hmm... Not sure what to do after that, honestly. We'll see, we'd have to find a good boy though first. These are insanely large dragons. Well, at least he only managed to get one of them, but it's still more than enough, considering that's a hundred and five hundred and five. I mean... Yes, my stuff is big. No, not that big. Okay, here's Juliet. Once again, I refuse. There's more that could be done, but it seems like a really bad idea. The only way to scale enough to fight guys like that is really good boy. And even then, you'd have to have a chunky backline. Arthur might be a game changer. I'm taking him. Should have taken that spell, actually. Um, very questionable. I suppose the wizard doesn't even do anything with four attack, really. Hmm. 
So at this point, well, another Arthur would be nice, but let's try for a spell. That's not it. Hmm. He got level 6 of this board? It seems very weak. Who was it? Nothing. Hmm. Nah, not gonna buff the wizard. Seems silly. Um, that does not work on spells and the rest is... It's a level 5 artifact from the get-go, but it doesn't feel a, a worthwhile investment. What happened to Good Boy, honestly? I could take River Wish Mermaid. I'm not sure how good that is. Oh, I just dropped Hercules and I didn't even notice. Um, instead of her, perhaps? Hmm. How good is a level 4 artifact? I mean, it is stats for everything, so it's not too bad. And I guess I could replace Sky Castle with uh, Moonsong Horn or something. Uh, it's not too bad if I can do that. Should I really? I will. And here it is, Moonsong Horn. I suppose we'll do it. I mean, I could upgrade Arthur with one. If... Hmm... Something like that? I'm not sure. That's fine. Well, it did grow, so next turn it'll have 34. I'm not sure it's enough to make it do it in 3, but... That guy is so incredibly dangerous if he actually lives because of uh, Black Prism, but since he's dead, we're quite happy with that. So top 3, yeah, no, sorry, top 4. Hmm. Good boy is being very elusive here. Hmm. I mean, level 5 artifact, but I'd have to put it in. I suppose I could. It's just, I'm not seeing anything. Um, replace Moonsong Horn with what exactly on 5? It's just not that good. On the other hand, it is plus one plus two. Hmm. Just how useful is it? Fine, we'll do it. Um, let's see. Something, something. I'm not sure. Huh. It's not really useful. <laughs> Come to think of it. Really. I've made zero progress on the quest. How annoying. Oh, Cupid is going to be a pain. Okay, he has less than uh, than he might have expected. And that guy dying is quite good. I mean, Cupid is going to be such a pain if he gets to attack, but he won't, so... 
That's death. Honestly, even if he did, I'd have one left over and he'd still die. Top three. Not too bad. Huh. I actually want Hand of Midas in case of good boy. And I'll take Piggy Moth. Maybe it'll help save me. That's a 3042. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but... This guy dying without doing anything is quite devastating because it means he's probably not even going to see uh, an artifact by the end of the game. I'm not looking to upgrade a wizard, I don't need the artifact right now. And there's no other reason to do so. Not a single good boy, even now. Annoying. 2444. <laughs> Interesting. Now, we know Morgana Fey is a slay with the dragons, so we want a very chunky board on the backline for her. I have no idea what Apocalypse is though. Alright, trees. Very strong trees. Oh, that was such a godsend. That guy would have... Think about it, that's a magic sword plus 100 on a dragon. I mean, it's bad enough having to deal with this thing. It's, it, by itself, it's eating pretty much my entire board. <laughs> I still win. The damage is not going to be enough to kill him, but next hit will. I hope I'm not fighting against Morgan Le Fay now. Ah, I am. So, one more hit and he's in, but... No, we're not doing that. I mean, it's such a waste of Midas, isn't it? Yeah, it's such a waste of Midas. That spell's not very useful. I'm starting to wish I'd have taken Smite. Now I know what she has, and I guess Shrivel will do for now. Hmm. I'm not sure how much attack could those dragons possibly have, but uh, hopefully this board is uh, strong enough to handle it. 78, 60, 52, these are my highest health guys. As for the rest, not much else to do. It would have been so much better if I could have gotten a good boy and some uh, stats on it for the wizards, although it is weaker against Lightning Dragon Slay, so it's such a situational board, but it's really a hard counter to wizards. This might actually have been a blessing in disguise. I wonder if I made a mistake uh, not taking the Arthur. I don't think so, but... Huh, that's a completely different board than what I saw last time. Of course it's that guy. I mean, I'm not even sure I live, so I'm not sure how relevant it is. But, uh... Still annoying. Don't... Okay, that's fine. I mean... It's not fine, but it's fine. I will live, at least. None of these is upgraded. And now they have to fight amongst themselves, so... Probably did a mistake not taking the Arthur. Nah, not replacing this character. Hmm, nothing to buff. I mean... Did they remove Good Boy when I wasn't looking? Really? Not even sure where to place it. I'm never going to outscale the others without Good Boy, but uh... huh. disappointing. I suppose if I had taken every author I've seen, and then I'd maybe have three authors by now, and I'd be dead because they wouldn't have the stats initially. 
<laughs> then maybe. It's not too bad. I presume that uh, Apocalypse will die now. And at that point I'll be top 2. I don't think I can go any higher. Well, what level 6 salt effect is uh, good enough to make the difference? Alright, it's this. Don't kill that guy. Good. Quest complete, finally. Huh. That's... something. I mean, the artifact he has makes that composition so deadly where it otherwise wouldn't really be. Really? Well, I suppose it's fine. Okay, what can we get? Further growth or double spell? I'm going with double spell. And what am I replacing here? Replacing mine's hat? Nah, even if I find a good way, Hand of Midas isn't even enough to buff it. So... I guess we give up on uh, Hand of Midas? I'm not sure. If we give up on Hand of Midas, hmm... What are we even looking for? Hex. Just Hex, right? And even then we'd need another Hex next round if it even works. Nah, that's not uh, very viable. Let's replace the hat. And here's the good boy. <laughs> Bit late. Uh, four four is not good enough. Ah, it's fine. We lost. Not a good boy. Way too late. Would have needed him far far earlier to actually be viable. These guys are just too big. Without good boy we don't scale in the late game, but it's fine, it was expected, we got second place considering we had a very bad luck in terms of our late game. All of strength come from our mid game composition, uh, our hero power and uh, Arthur, so definitely a respectable finish, as high as we could have taken this one. Thanks for watching, you can like, comment, subscribe and I will see you next time.